And you don't want people hating the government. What you want is a government to be bound by the chains of the Constitution. Give me a bunch of ones if you agree. And I'll, uh, I'll keep playing this until the footage runs out. This is just a short that I made the other day. Yeah. yeah. It's just wild, man. Oh. Hold on a minute. So, guys, I may have to fast forward some of this stuff. Um, <laughs> Okay, because I don't want to get in trouble with. Yeah, uh, so in fact, I think I, I will. I actually, hope you can see what's going on. I just want to get a tour. Yeah, of the, exactly. Had to get or something out. Um, and look, I don't, I don't, man. You know, like, I, let me look up in the sidebar here and see if you guys told me. Well, for crying out loud, nobody said if it was a Camaro. Well, I supposed to go it is for a, a rip. We found that out. for a rip when you don't even know what kind of car it is, eh? <laughs> That's right, brick cycles with badges. That's true, Jeff. Let me take a look here. Camaro, yeah, yeah, right on. Yep, that's what I think too, James. All right, so let's go ahead. And you guys ready for me to keep rolling this? Just keep in mind, if I see too much craziness, <laughs> um, I'm gonna have to fast forward it. All right. All right. So that that's about all we're gonna be able to show you of that one. But you kind of get the idea. And I don't know, it just keeps coming in. I'm seeing all this crazy stuff now. I don't know if you guys saw the dudes that were uh, in Beverly Hills with the safe. Did you see, did you guys see that one? I gotta show you that one if I can find it. Just give me one second, guys. Um, well, I got another, ah, nah. there was a really interesting one where they, these dudes tried to steal a safe and they actually stole it. I don't know if you guys saw that. These dudes actually were able to make off with the safe, but I still want you to Okay. So of the, I, you just joined me just now. I want to go back across the pond so I can share this with you because I think it's really hilarious. And let's just have a little bit of fun with this. This guy's request for a gender neutral officer. It's my belief that it's a lawful search. And for that purpose. Okay. Can I ask for a, a, a hang on, hang on. Can I ask for a neutral gender officer to search me? Would you prefer to be searched by myself? I need a neutral gender. A neutral, neutral gender. gender? Yeah. What do you mean by neutral? That? Neutral. What do you mean neutral? Neutral gender. What do you mean by neutral? That's what I mean. You don't say you don't know. So if you're the one requesting that. I'm requesting a neutral gender officer to search me. Okay, what do you, mean? you don't know what that means? What do you mean by that? So you're going to carry on this search. Okay. You got anything on you that you should? Uh, no. So you're not going to provide me a neutral gender officer? You've not once explained what you mean by that statement, okay? You've not said female officer, you've been off the male officer search you, so you've not said either way, you've said... I need a gender neutral officer. Right, we don't have gender neutral officer here. Have you got anything on you that you shouldn't have? Have you got anything on you that's going to hurt yourself or yourself during the search? Anything sharp? No, that's fine. Just put your arm on for me. A dog could say for the search, by the way. You don't have to consent, okay? Just, uh, she's touching my ass now. She is. In the back right. Of my ass was gender neutral. I have a reason okay. for that. Okay, right. Yes. Any gender neutral. So we've got a male. Well, she's touching my ass. Right. She's not touching your ass. Hands, touching yes. Hands. Don't touch my ass, man. She's using the approved technique of using the back of her hand. No, she's right. touching my ass. Okay, if you'd like to put up a complaint, and you can, put, you can do it on 101. However, the search is lawful and it's being done properly. Well, but there's, oh, she's touching my balls now. She's not. Her arms are nowhere near. She did. Nowhere near. She, they're my balls, you know. <laughs> Done with your rubbish. I actually stood here for 10 minutes while you touching my ass. I can shout as much as I like. Oh, oh who's her last? Who's a land? I am a land right now. Yeah, I do want that. All right. Well, that was pretty cool. So. 
Now let's get into something a little more fun. They're giving you a ticket? Speeding? What's that? For speeding? <laughs> you, you got the wrong one. You got the wrong one. What's that? You got the wrong one. Just carry on. Do your business. You need to back up. Otherwise, you're interfering with my stock. Well, we've... I've been cordial with you so far. You need to stop talking. Okay. 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 You okay, man? You piss yourself a little bit or what? Otherwise, otherwise we're going to have an issue. Why is that? Because you're interfering with my stop. Your stop is gone. Yeah. Now my stop is gone after you've been here the whole time. So here's the deal. You no, no, there's no point. deal. Yeah. There's no deal. You can either get back in your car and you can leave, or I can get your identification, okay? What's your name? My name's Officer Lockwood. Officer Lockwood with what department? And you're telling me you're going to get my ID for standing on a public easement recording yeah, you? Yeah, public easement, but you're interfering with my stop. Right, your stop is gone, yeah, son. Now my stop's gone, but you're interfering How with How did I interfere with it? Okay. You might, you, might, you might want to go look up that statute and get a supervisor, son, or just get in your car and leave. That'd be best. You, you think that you think that you're the first clown I've ever dealt with? No, I know I know you're not the first first person I've ever dealt with. Okay, just leave. <laughs> do you... Hey, that was pretty good. Does anybody know who that guy is? Who uh, he's he's kind of kind of has a little chili to Castro thing going on with him. Now I look I've seen in the sidebar, Jeff, that uh that that you've got a that chili owes you a trifold. Um, I'll reach out and see what I can do for you, buddy. I know that make sure that you got it from the right person because i know that there's somebody out there who pretends to be chilly and then i guess um i don't know just be careful what you're doing uh, but i'll reach out to him uh, for sure like as soon as i'm done with the show i'll reach out to him he's a good guy i don't think he'd stiff you brother i think it i think his reputation's too important to him as well now also i know i got a couple of people who i owe uh some books to um i owe at least two people, uh, copies of my book, My Journey to Becoming a Practicing Lawyer with No Law Degree or Undergrad. So the, the, it's the digital version, not not the print, but I, I know I owe a couple of people that, so keep that in mind. I appreciate, by the way, the people who keep buying my memberships in bulk because I'm able to get a lot more people subscribed into the site and they can check out all my back channel stuff. So I try to share all my my other cool back channel stuff that I don't share public. So I appreciate you guys doing that. Just taking a short little break. Um, I want to find out who this guy is. Who this is? It Ross Schumann? Is that? I mean, is this the actual auditor? Because I think he's pretty good. Let's. Uh, the way he's dealing with this cop is pretty freaking good, man. Hold on one second. Um. Let's check them out. By the way, guys, all I'm doing is I'm looking at like bad cop surveillance on Twitter and I'm finding the, the most coolest um, cop watch videos. And then all I'm trying to do is give you my perspective, like from a legal point of view, like what's going on with this stuff. So um, it looks like this cop is like, you know, I'm going to, if you don't go away, I'm going to have to get your ID, <laughs> you know, that kind of stuff. He's, he's really like, He's, act, he's really upset, but he, you can tell he knows he's being filmed. And he knows it's going to cost him his job. And so you kind of see he's uh, he's actually being pretty well so far contained. To work. Let's watch that again. I, th I think this was pretty good. Give me a bunch of ones if you want to watch it again. And give me a bunch of twos if you don't. And even if I get more twos, then ones, I'm still gonna watch it again. So here we go, let's watch it again. They're giving you a ticket? Speeding? What's that? For speeding? You got the wrong one. You got the wrong one. What's that? You got the wrong one. <laughs> Just carry on, do your business. You need to back up. Otherwise, you're interfering with my stock. Okay? Well, I've we've... Been, I've been cordial with you so far. You need to stop talking. Okay. 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 You okay, man? You piss yourself a little bit or what? <laughs> otherwise, otherwise, we're going to have an issue. Why is that? Because you're interfering with my stop. Right? Your stop is gone. Yeah, now my stop is gone after you've been here the whole time. So. All right, so 
And it, and if the cop is reasonably well trained, he knows that the it, the stop is over, so you can't continue the stop for purposes of trying to harass someone who's hanging out filming, for example. And I think that the judge, the the appellate judge in Chile de Castro's case upheld the law when she went ahead and reversed Chile's conviction. And by the way, guys, give me a bunch of OTVOs for Chile and, you know, what a great job he did. Bravo, dude. I mean, seriously, very, very impressed with, um, you know, I, I got to visit him when he was in jail and he was he just, he's a brave dude. That's all I can tell you. I mean, the guy is willing to put his everything on the line for what he believes in. And so I encourage everybody to like, and subscribe to Chili De Castro's channel, as well as BZ Watchdog, because him and I really went the extra mile to keep the word out and keep on pumping the information out there about what was really going on. Cause there was so much disinformation and so much ill will and hatred towards Chile. And I just, I felt like it was my civic duty to it, to point out that you guys are convicting him based upon you not liking him as a person and not based on the facts and the evidence. 